Hello and welcome to the famous Inchconnell Castle, often wrongly pronounced as Inchconnell, as that's how it looks written down. This castle behind me is also known as Ardconnell Castle and it has been a stronghold of the Clan Campbell, who are a renowned Scottish clan in Scottish history from as early as 1308 all the way to the present day. As you can see here, it is surrounded by water and that makes it a pretty special castle in terms of British medieval times as not many castles around here and dot along this lock. Lock Awe is its location. Not many of the castles around here are actually on the lock. So, as you can see, it is a fortress that is surrounded on all sides and completely unreachable by foot. The boys are over there, blowing up a kayak currently and we're going to venture over across. What's special about this castle is that during the 13th century, when this castle was fully functional, it had high, tall walls and was heavily guarded at all times. And you can almost picture, as I stand here on the shore, enemies who had been attacking this castle and trying to take it off the Clan Campbell would have had a very hard job of getting across and actually overtaking the, the castle and claiming it as their own. As you can see, it's got a lot of trees around it. But you can see the towers walls just up there. So we're going to take a journey from here across to that entrance and get a much closer look for you. 800 year old medieval castle. Welcome to Inchconnell. Heading over now the boys. We're going to go over on twos and we'll see you on the other side. Land of Clan Campbell. About to dock on the Inch Connell shoreline. Made it. On the shore of Inch Connell. Come on. Echo! I don't know if you can hear that in the camera, but there's a large echo from this island. Echo! So the boys are just getting ready to come back over. I'm going to wait for them. But there's some steps up to this castle here that look pretty cool. So as previously mentioned, this place used to be the seat of the renowned clan Campbell. And they still presently own it. Look at this fan entrance. Wow. So it's obviously extremely overgrown around here. After 800 years, that is exactly what would have happened. The walls still stand. Oh. 
that is the main castle that we're going to be camping for a little bit in. We're not staying the night, but we are going to take you around the different parts of the castle. And if you stick around to the end of the video, there is a dungeon to this medieval castle, which, as of yet, I've not seen MD enter. And if it is accessible to us, we'd have rope and some torches, and a few of us are going to go and descend down into this dungeon for you. So stick around for that. Some beautiful views though. Well done boys, very eloquently done, keep coming over, I'll catch you, do that side now. One man left. Alright. Oh. See I'll be something for the camera Andy. You enjoy that? Oh, I'm it, it's so peaceful, isn't it? Right, yeah. Andy, what did you just find there? It is noted that this castle behind me was once in the hands of the McDougall clan and they were holding it on behalf of the English King Edward II and one of his chronicles reads It is noted that in the little recorded history there is of the place that following the defeat of the MacDougalls the Lordship of Law Caw reverted back to Clan Campbell In a report to Sir Colin Campbell by Robert the Bruce in 1315 So it's confirmed in that statement by Robert the Bruce, that the Clambles from 1315 onward overtook this castle and it remains a stronghold to this day. This is on the south side of the castle. So I'm right at the shore's edge here. As I said, this used to be the courtyard and you can see the castle in the background. Very overgrown with trees as mentioned earlier, but the brick at the top has obviously fallen away and the bottom and the foundation is all that remains. It's not clear that if a battle ever commenced here in 1315, because as I've mentioned, with sites like this, there's not a lot of recorded history, so they have to just go off of reports and bits of information that was maybe written down on paper. So it's actual historical records. And in 1315, that Robert, the Bruce, that Robert the Bruce report confirmed that the clan Campbell had taken over this castle and this island. But what isn't confirmed is whether there was a battle between the McDougals and the Campbells. And if there was, which I imagine this place would have seen some battles in its time, then you can almost just try and picture what this would have actually been like. Swords, bows and arrows, just like you see in the movies. Now, what I've, been, what I've been told is that in the 15th century, 1450s, around about that time, Sir Duncan Campbell, who was a later owner of this residence, he'd done a lot of reconstruction on the place, which means that some of the walls you see today might date to about just under 600 years ago, but a lot of the foundations, as I mentioned before, were from around 1305 or 1308. You can see Ross up there. 
two layers to this place, two floors. Boys have set up shop. Furnace, some wood. We're going to venture up, why not? And just like that, we get up. Branch to the face. I'm going to show you some of the construction of this place. I'm going to have to set these down here. It's becoming a bit of a habit. Oh my god. Take a look at that. Now, these are what I was talking about when I referred to earlier, how it was reinforced in the 1450s by Sir Duncan Campbell. And look at that for a view. So the walls were made thicker because of attacks from the shoreline. But that was obviously a more recent update, only a couple of hundred years when it started. But you can see how thick the walls are. And it gives you a good view of the entire castle. 800 years old. So you can imagine that being like a hall. The steps are still there, which is really cool. That's like something from the Two Towers. It's a shame about the weather, but it does not take away from the absolute beauty of this place. Let's go and see what the boys are up to. Maybe not the best video if you're afraid of heights. Down there, not sure if you can see that, but that right there says dungeon. They believe that the dungeon was first enforced in 1484. So it was a dungeon and it was in use as a dungeon for over 200 years. So you can only imagine the atrocities that went on down there. But we'll be getting to that. I'll show you a little bit more of this view. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. How do you do it? <laughs> right mate, pinch it like this. Like that. Pinch it like that, you get a better release. Yeah. Right. So for two centuries this prism was in use. I'm about to show you it right now. It's blocked by none other than this entrance here. Dungeon, not toilet, no litter. So we're about to... An 800 year old medieval dungeon. Pass me the torch. Yeah. <sighs> Mate, this is an actual dungeon. This is like, it's like a cell down here, boys. I think I'm all good.
watch that rope, Jamie. Use the rope, use the rope, use the rope. Sorted. Right, right, right. Yeah, how is that? Not bad, let's see your place. Look down there. So this would have been like a cell. Back in the day they'd have just thrown people down here. And that's the only bit of light that they'd have had. More rope. Small, isn't it? Look at that in the walls, bro. Flame scale or something. Whoa! Mate, look at that. I don't know if that's moisture or like crystal. Is that just moisture? I'm, I'm going for it. Oh, yeah, it's like just, gold, mate. I know, it's, it's not. It's just moisture, though. It's not, it's not rock. The medieval times or the Middle Ages or the more aptly named Dark Ages were an absolutely horrific time in human history and it was known for its brutally violent torture methods that were used at that time. And these kind of methods were probably used in dungeons, exactly like this one. And we've just came down here and we've just discovered underneath our feet what looks like bones. And I'm not going to touch it, but it is a pretty big bone with a bit of rope. And there's another one down here where a fire looks to have been had. You can see the bone there. Absolute wild. Hold that a minute, bro. Yeah, that's solid. It's going to be solid to get out of by the way. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Right, come on, boys. <laughs> Same scroll has just entered a medieval dungeon. I think that's a milestone complete. It's going to be tough. It's alright mate, I'll get, give him your hand. I'll help you mate. You need to use your knees. I've got you mate, do not let go of me. Just bend your back, I've got you mate. I've got you all the way. Just get me onto the latch. Use your, use your knees. I can't fit, wait. Use wait, your knees. Wait. Right, wait, let me just fucking start. Yeah, boys. Boys. Oh, uh, we got out. Fucking yes, Thomas. <laughs> Head to tail. Absolutely manky. And I've also given myself a little treat because that was some mission into the dungeon there for you. I'm going to take you up to the roof one last time give you a final little bit, a bit of information about why the castle's in the current state that it's in This castle to this day is still associated with the modern Campbell clan who as previously mentioned are still in Scotland regarded as one of the most historic families in Scotland's long history
after two centuries of being a prison, the proud castle is said to have been left behind, and from the 19th century onwards has been left in ruin, as you've seen today. However, as today's shown, Inchconnell Castle still stands tall on Loch Caw, with its proud history still ringing through its walls. You can see the boys kayaking in the distance, way over there, and from probably the best spot in the entire place, I'll just do a wee, a wee panorama from the most westerly corner of Inchconnell Castle. I'd like to say goodbye and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video if you like this kind of content because I'll be firing out more exactly like this. And the more people support me, the more adventurous expeditions me and all the boys can go on. So from the top, on the walls and the slopes of Inch Connell, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.